Okay, so in this video, I'm going to just show you how to use SPSS to calculate z-scores. So I gave you the formula in Canvas, but the nice thing about SPSS is it does it for you. So I'm going to use my example. I'm trying to pick the best five athletes, okay? And I've got 15 athletes that I've measured, and I've measured them on agility, I've measured them on strength, and I've measured them on vertical jump. So you can see this here. All right, and I've got subjects 1 through 15. Agility, strength, and vertical jump. Agility is in seconds, strength is in pounds, and vertical jump is in inches. And so I want to pick the top five out of these measures. So the first thing I have to do is I have to calculate z-scores. So I'm going to go to analyze, I'm going to go to descriptive statistics, and I'm going to go to descriptives. And you can see here I have my variables moved over. I don't need to move subjects because I, I'm not interested in the z-score of the subject. I'm interested in the z-score of these particular measures. So the thing that you want to make sure that is checked is it says save standardized values as variables. So that's all I need to do here. And I click OK. It's going to take you to this screen, but we want to go back to our um, variable screen here. And here are my z-scores. So a z-score, remember, is a standard deviation away from the mean. So for instance, this z-score for agility of negative 1.59 is 1.5 standard deviations below the mean for agility. So this person who had 6.5 is 1.5 standard deviations away from the mean. They are almost exactly at the mean for their strength. And then the vertical jump, they are the mean for their strength because that is standard deviation units. Okay, so that's how you would calculate a z-score in SPSS.